Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you or a friend have said the following words? I don't pay attention to the news because it's too stressful. So let me ask you this, where are you getting your news information from? Did you know that in the US, half of adults get their news at least sometimes from social media? This is an amazing time in technology and the advancements of AI are rapidly changing how we interact with the world today. The table behind me showcases a breakdown of the percentage of adults that get their news sometimes from social media broken down by different platforms. It's no surprise that Facebook is leading with 30%, followed by TikTok at 14%, and Twitch, a percentage that doesn't even register here on the graphic. But let's take a moment to look at TikTok and how TikTok has impacted the fabric of our society in just three short years. In 2020, the share of US adults that regularly got their news from TikTok was 3%, and that's now quadrupled to 14% in 2023. And it's interesting because we have the President of the United States now opening a TikTok account ahead of his upcoming election, which could be an interesting move considering about a third of US adults under 30 regularly get their news from TikTok. The world of misinformation is rapidly advancing, and we must be consumers of digital media in a responsible way. With progress comes challenges. I love technology, but I believe in helping the public embrace technology and become informed consumers of digital information, especially in the age of AI in the 21st century. My name is Ashley Coffey, and I'm passionate about bridging the gap between technology and people. I've had about 10 years of experience in the technology industry in both the public, private, and nonprofit sectors, and I've had the privilege of speaking at over 40 technology talks at Harvard, South by Southwest, and TEDxOU, just to name a few. And FYI, this is not a deep fake. Now, I stand before you today not just as a woman in technology, but as an advocate for understanding how AI is rapidly changing our lives and our relationship with social media and how we consume our news. Today, we embark on a journey to decode and discern the digital landscape in the age of AI and become informed consumers of digital content, especially as we approach the upcoming election cycle. Now, let's take a moment to address what the heck is AI? There are a lot of different, different definitions out there, and in the past 10 years, there have been several definitions. But according to, to IBM, at its simplest form, artificial intelligence is a field which combines computer science and robust data sets to enable problem solving. There's much more than what meets the eye when it comes to artificial intelligence, and it's important to remember that while the sensationalism might make it seem that this technology is way far ahead than it already is, there's, it's still in its infancy and requires collaboration and human-in-the-loop processes. Now, AI is reshaping our world at a rapid, breathtaking pace. It's important that we equip ourselves with the tools necessary to become informed consumers of information, and I'm gonna help guide you through some of those strategies to help empower yourself against misinformation, deep fakes, and generative AI images. Did you know that on an average day, we make about 35,000 decisions? That is a lot in today's day and age. Now let's take a moment to consider the correlation between these 35,000 decisions that we make and the amount of misinformation that is out there. It's easy for us to get tangled in this complex web, especially when we acknowledge that the policies and legislation in the United States are lagging behind. It's important that we become informed consumers. Now, let's take a moment to talk about the impact of artificial intelligence on the 21st century. Let's reflect on the rapid advancements that artificial, has, artificial intelligence has given us, including self-driving cars, virtual assistants, chatbots, and little tools to make our lives easier. It's fascinating, but it also poses a bit of a challenge, distinguishing real from fake. 
there's a good side and there's a bad side to everything. And while AI can be a tool for good, there's also a dark side of artificial intelligence being used as a tool to spread information, misinformation very quickly. I want to kind of dive in to a little bit of this. In just the past two months, there have been two major incidents of misinformation spreading like wildfire. And the first one happened on January 24th with Taylor Swift. On January 24th, Taylor Swift realized that there were generative AI sexually explicit images becoming viral on a social media platform, and one in particular. And these images generated 27 million views in the 19 hours before the account that originally posted that content was taken down. You also may remember the Biden robocall campaign in New Hampshire urging Democratic voters not to vote in the state's primary. This raised very serious concerns about the spread of misinformation to roughly 25,000 people in the state of New Hampshire, and especially in advance of upcoming elections. Just a note, I did use generative AI to create these images, and through the process of curating my talk, I learned how to properly cite generative AI, so I'd like to share with you the prompt that I use for these images. A patriotic robot president making robocalls in the Oval Office. The first image is what generated it at first, and I thought to myself, this needs to be a little bit more patriotic. So when I said, make it more patriotic, the second image came up. And I wasn't done there, I said, let's make it even more patriotic. And that's where we got the third image. So this example just goes to show you how a collaborative process with artificial intelligence can curate what you're trying to imagine but it's important to understand how to distinguish real from fake. And shortly after these two incidents, the FTC proposed a new set of protections to protect AI, protect individuals against AI impersonations. And this is actually open for public comment at the time of this talk. Now, let's talk about information literacy and the importance of being informed consumers. Digital literacy is no longer just a luxury. It is a necessity in this day and age. Now, I want to help equip you with the tools necessary to become informed consumers, and I want to make sure that you leave this talk today with a set of tools and your digital toolkit to combat misinformation. Number one, the critical assessment of your sources. Always remember to cross-check and verify what you're looking at. Be careful of unknown or unfamiliar websites that seem to push a particular agenda, especially without proper citation or evidence. Number two, and this is my favorite one, learn how to understand the signs of AI-generated content. What I do is I look for inconsistencies and in patterns or distorted images. AI does not do a good job with mouths or hands or fingers. So if you look closely and you start to see shadows or oddities or things that just don't look right, it's likely that the image is a deep fake or a generative AI. And when it comes to looking at text, make sure you look just a little bit closer. When you look closer, it may be complete gibberish. It may be hieroglyphics. It may look like text from being zoomed out, but once you zoom in, you can see it's generative AI. Number three, cross-verify your sources. I practice the principle of doubt, then verify. Cross-reference your sources, go online to trusted, reputable websites, and fact-check the information to make sure it's actually true before you consider it as such. Number four, digital literacy education. There are a lot of organizations and institutions out there that provide free resources and online education to help you understand how to be an informed consumer of digital information. But more importantly, it is a responsibility for us to take time out of our daily lives to understand digital literacy. Whether that's 30 minutes a day, 30 minutes a month, we must start setting time aside to understand how technology is impacting our lives, especially in the age of artificial intelligence. With these strategies, you could become informed and equipped to understand real from fake. Information literacy is not just a choice. 
It is a responsibility. In the age of misinformation and the manipulation of algorithms, it is paramount that we look at information with a critical lens and understand how to cross-reference our resources, learn how to spot misinformation, and become informed consumers of the digital content that we consume in our daily lives. So my ask to you today is make sure that before you consume content as true and factual, make sure that you use the five strategies that I've given you to inform yourself to be a consumer of digital information. Today, I ask you, what can we do to be informed consumers of digital content? My name is Ashley Coffey. Thank you for your time and attention today. And together, let's decode and discern a digital future that we want to create. Thank you.